What is up everyone? So today I have a 3D printer uh, filament uh, comparison. So we got three filaments that I want to compare. These are supposed to be all matte finish, um, which apparently it doesn't look like it. Uh, but when we compare the two, I guess we'll see the prints, the, the way they print and the difference. Um, I'm also gonna include a few clips of some matter hackers and uh, overture. Um, gloss black so we could see what the comparison is between the gloss and these ones uh, so this is supposed to be a matte black finish this is supposed to be a, like a battleship, battleship gray and this one's supposed to be a matte black finish so we have um, two of the same brands and one different brand and then the other two gloss uh, will be different brands as well of uh, items already printed so over here on the right we have 3DX Tech and then over here on the left we have Coex. Um, these are supposed to be matte finish. The texture on here is kind of rough on the 3DX Tech. These ones are really smooth and uh, shiny. Uh, this one does feel like it's almost like a sandpaper material. I expect this one to print really well as far as the matte finish is concerned. I don't have uh, any faith in these two. I'll show you the colors right now of which each one is. Um, but also keep in mind I'm going to go from temperature rating. So if you look here it gives you the weight and temperature. So what's kind of weird on this filament after closer inspection is when you look at this, if you look close. Let's see if I could get this focused in. There's like little fiber hairs on it. It almost looks like this was wet and someone took a damp cloth, uh, like a terry cloth, and got it all over it. That's the texture that this has. Uh, so this is low gloss matte finish. And what's weird is it requires you to print at a high temperature, 260 and 280 degrees Celsius. Uh, so what we'll end up doing is printing at the lowest temperature for the first few layers and then go up to the highest temperature rating to see if that uh, creates a different matte finish on this one. And then these uh, two, the Coex, they're actually going to print close to normal temperature. I think it's like 230 to 245. Uh, I'll document that once I figure out uh, what these are recommended to print at and then compare them. So to show you something a little bit different. Uh, also, uh, if you're interested in this dark cherry red PTG from Atomic, uh, these are these are the temps that it's recommended, 230 to 245. The weird part of this stuff is it looks good. Uh, it's a little bit darker in person than, there it is. It's a little bit darker in person than uh, what my camera's picking up. So one thing to note is printing on a glass bed is awesome because uh, cleanup's easy. You don't have to worry about build tech uh, material and switching that out, paying expensive prices for that stuff, and it holds on really well. Like this stuff does not budge. Okay, uh, hairspray. If you put hairspray, it does help with releasing, uh, but printing straight on the glass adheres really well. Uh, to the point where you need something like this, like this chisel I got for wood to knock this off because regular little cheap spatulas like this uh, is not enough to <laughs> pop that baby off. So one thing you could see right off the bat is it left some residue and it pulled apart some of the layers. 
So I don't recommend printing directly on the glass without like some hairspray or something to pop it off. Or if you don't want to use hairspray, uh, don't do a zero layer height for the initial start because it would adhere way too good. Uh, maybe do like one layer height off. Uh, the same with like when you release uh, any support material, you do a one layer height so that way it can break apart real easily. Okay, let's go over all these different filaments real quick and why I printed them and printed them differently. Okay, so let's start off with the gloss stuff first. So this is your Matter Hacker stuff. It's your traditional uh, PTG uh, with your gloss. It comes out good. The finish is really, really nice. Um, and then over here you have your Overture. Uh, these are just machining marks. Uh, I printed all this stuff on a 0.8 uh, millimeter nozzle and then for the layer height I did them at 0.3 um, just to save some time. Uh, so you, you see some of the machining marks or whatever from it just printing back and forth. But as far as the shine is concerned, it prints uh, really good for the overture stuff. So Overture and Matter Hackers is about on par with each other as far as quality is concerned. They both print really decent. Uh, Overture is pretty cool because they give you a ruler and then they give you the Biltac stuff uh, for your print bed for free. And it's about the same price as the Matter Hacker stuff. I think it's like $22 or whatever um, for a spool of it. So the black stuff was printed on uh, at 240 degrees Celsius on an 80 degree uh, Celsius bed. And then of course you got your atomic filament. Uh, this was the original uh, stuff I purchased and then this was the second stuff I purchased. As you can see there's a difference in uh, matte finish. This company says that I printed this at a low temperature and this one at a high temperature but that was false because I printed this multiple times uh, at 230 degrees Celsius and then also at 245 degrees Celsius which is what I printed this and every single time they came out shiny and consistently shiny. As you can see there's also gapping in the material whereas this one's like really smooth and nicely uh, finished. I tried to talk to them on uh, my issues and it seemed like they kept blaming me. Uh, but I printed this one multiple times to try to get the sheen and the uh, matte finish and it didn't work out. This one was printed at 245. This one here was printed at 245 and as you can see they're different. Um, but I do have other ones that I printed at a lower temperature just to see if it changed anything which it did not. Which was kind of surprising, but I mean, it's only 10 degrees Celsius difference, so I wouldn't expect it to. So when purchasing this, even though you go by weight, one kilogram of spool, this uh, brand, whatever's in the uh, material makes it weigh a little bit more, so you don't get as much uh, filament on your spool. So keep that in mind when uh, uh, buying colors. Um, the, whatever additive that they put into it changes the weight for sure. Uh, so typically I was able to get three or four prints, like three and a half prints of these. Uh, but with this brand I was only able to get two and a half. Okay. So we'll work our way from the bottom up. This brand here is the 3D X Tech. And it recommends to print at 260 degrees Celsius to 280 degrees Celsius. I can't get up to the 280 degrees Celsius. So the max I could do it was uh, 260, okay? As you can see, it printed really well and it does have a real matte finish, okay? Going upward, you have the Co-X um, matte black finish here. And uh, as you can see, it does not look black. It looks gray, okay? It's like a milk gray, real dark milk gray. And that one was printed at 230 to 250 degrees Celsius. And then as we work our way to the top, you have a gunmetal gray, which is uh, supposed to be printed at 230 degrees Celsius to 250. And uh, I started the layers at the very bottom at 230. And then as you got to the top, I increased it to 250. 
as you can see there's no real sheen difference in temperature but you can see the layer difference right here it fused better with the um, hotter material so you could see right in here is where it was at 230 and then right here is at 250. so mind you this wasn't dialed in all the way but it does give you some um, it gives you some platform to work off of to show you how it's going to come out if you were interested in buying this filament so i put support material on one end to show you what it looked like and how it would build and then i took support material out of the other side to show you how it would build on a 45 degree angle each one of these uh, sections here is uh, three eighths of an inch So overall conclusion, do I recommend buying any of these products? If Atomic would fix their red, I definitely love that color, so I recommend buying it. Overture and Matter Hackers are great filaments if you're looking for a gloss black. The 3DX at the bottom, uh, 3DX Tech, is really, really nice matte. But don't forget, these you're going to pay a premium for because they're a Pro Series. And they give you, to be honest, they give you the same quality as Matter Hackers and Overture. Um, if you measure them out, they may be a little bit different in tolerances. But for what I'm doing, I don't need precision work. I just need an object to fit within maybe five thousandths to ten thousandths. But these you're going to spend, I don't know how much the spool will print. Because I haven't used a full spool. This was the first time I tried it. So take it for what it's worth but these spools are going to run you around that $30 range instead of just the early $20 range uh, with the other brands but the matte black is really a nice matte black finish it has no gloss to it so I do recommend that uh, this matte black for for the coax I do not recommend unless you're looking for a darker gray and then the gunmetal gray is more like a silver gray and uh, if you're looking for that color, I do recommend it because all of them print it really well, unlike uh, the Atomic. But if you look closely, you can see it's like messed up. Uh, like I said, I didn't fine tune any of my settings, so take it for what it's worth. It was just a rushed together project just to see the differences in uh, layers and then how matte they came. Okay, before I buy any more of uh, these products so these dimensions are based on a one inch wide by two inch in length by three eighths and three eighths per section of each color and we're looking at 0.985 that's going to complete today's video if you want to see content like this and other content i'll be posting in the near future such as my uh, new extruder head the whole setup i'm getting the himera from 3ds extruder and then for my cr10 s5 i'm going to do the same and do direct drive i'll be installing that when it comes in so definitely consider subscribing until next time i'll see you all in the next one